I had this agency called Angel's Touch. Might as well be called Devil's Touch. Um, they started off well, and I needed a good agency because I had just started living alone. This was three years ago. So anyway, um, I switched over from one agency to this one, and they seemed willing to be flexible with me. Then all of a sudden, my managed care and my sponsors that helped me get my apartment realized there was conflict in services, that I was getting one services from somewhere and, and getting it from another place, so it shouldn't be. So I spoke to my sponsors, PCCS. They worked out a deal with my agency to still keep the AIDS and I could still keep my apartment. I can't believe it led to that point. And um, yeah, I was gonna be straight Medicaid instead of managed care. Since the agency um, didn't want to wait, they wanted that fast money from the managed care. They didn't want to take a time till the end of the month when everything gets settled that the the actual Medicaid would send out the check. So every Monday they would call me while I was working and say stuff and do stuff and this and that. And I would tell them, talk to PCCS, talk to them. And then, you know, every month, I thought everything was okay because I was told I was going to be managed uh, um, straight Medicaid. That's what my last case manager told me from the last insurance. They said, we settled everything. All of a sudden, one Monday, Monday the 25th, no, Tuesday the 25th of April, I get a phone call 7 o'clock in the day from this Pidarask, this, this, this stupid man, the owner of, the owner of, uh, Angel's Touch, the devil, some hotshot, rich Russian guy that, that, that's only worried about his damn self, health. He was talking to me so nice. This is how you know people are full of shit. This is why I'm, I don't trust anybody. He was talking to me, so, oh, Mr. Nevs, we want to keep you, we love you, don't worry, we'll do the best, we're not, and, and the, the fake-ass Puerto Rican, um, secretary there, uh, don't worry, we got, I got you, nothing bad's gonna, I got the messages on my phone, so if anybody tries to say anything, it is what it is, you guys abandoned me, 7 o'clock in the morning, they told the guy, if nobody, if nobody comes to help me, and my family was working, and mind you, I'm a quadriplegic with cerebral palsy, I can't get out of bed on my own, if his family doesn't show up, just leave him there, the A said, you guys say that, because you're a company, but in reality, if I walk out and leave this guy there rendered helpless, the police are going to come after me. And granted, we thought of a solution, but then this fake-ass bitch that I thought she was nice, the secretary, she calls him later on. What are you still doing there? You sub we gave them till 11 o'clock. I'm sorry. My family has other responsibilities, and nobody's supposed to be left like that. By law, it's supposed to be handed over to another agency, especially in my case. And the uh, and the uh, and the punk ass, uh, two faced little girl that was my aide, Justin. Afterwards, because he needed a second job, 
he sided with them and we tried to uh, there was a lawsuit put out on them and he's asking me questions to help their case well fuck you Justin and fuck Angel's Touch fucking blue man fucking Peter Rask you're very mad which means go fuck yourself